Do you like that peaceful opening? I feel like this video hopefully will be like slightly peaceful or it will be a complete fail, but we're making pottery together. Obviously I love a good little hand thrown item. This sounds like I'm starting a brand deal, but I'm not. Uh, this is from Pepperstone Ceramics. They just sent me some cute ass mugs and, and different cups. They're really cute. So I thought why not have a good example of what could happen with pottery? And then I'll try to make something as well. But hey. How are we doing? I found this online, it's called Potted. So I chose the paint set that's like glitter, bright glitter colors. So mine will turn out looking a little brighter. So we have a base coat, a gloss varnish. We have some paint brushes. Oh, some shaping tools for my pottery. See the, la the mm, I don't know, like the wood and texture of those. We got some clay. So these are nice little pieces of clay there. And let's see what we're working with. So, knife tools. And these are for cutting and slicing clay. They couldn't have done these in any other texture except for wood. Okay, needle tool. For creating holes and openings. Also perfect for scoring surfaces before joining. Sure. We have a blending tool. For blending clay between join, between for blending clay between join surfaces. That doesn't make sense. For example, adding a rim to a trinket dish or attaching a handle to a jug, got it. Then we have the large coverage brush and the fine detail brush for the artist in you. Use this for adding the finer details. Okay, then we have our clay and this dries through the air. The creations have to dry for one to two days. So this is gonna be a long process of a video, but that's okay. We love a long process of a video. So I told my mom I'd make her something. So we're gonna make her a trinket dish. If I like this, I could start really whipping shit up, you know? I'm gonna write in mine, and I'm gonna think it's a best mom ever. Roll up your sleeves. <sighs> Okay, one, grab yourself two lumps of lovely clay. Cheers. Mmm. And roll into two smooth, satisfying balls. Mmm. Oh, it's, it is moist in here. This is gonna be messy, isn't it? Okay. Okay, now split this up, and then we're gonna roll it into two smooth, satisfying balls. Two smooth, satisfying balls about this size. Oh, there's supposed to be a larger one? Okay, I need to get a rolling pin. Okay, large round slab achieved. Now, let's place a round object like a ramekin or small bowl onto your clay slab and cut around it using your knife tool. I got this little bowl. Okay. Okay, roll the smaller clay ball into a long rectangular slab. Using a ruler or straight edge tool, cut a long rectangle. Enjoy those sharp, satisfying edges. Mm. Mm. This piece will form the rim of your dish. Score the outside section of your circle. To score is to scratch small grooves into surfaces to help them bond together. It's like stresses me out for whatever reason. I think I'm scoring this. Okay, now I'm scoring the bottom of the rim. I don't, see the thing is, I don't know if the rim is gonna be long enough. Add the rim to the top of your base and carefully blend the pieces together using the blending tool. Which one is the blending tool? Oh my God, you guys. Okay, so that's obviously I didn't make enough of a rim. <laughs> So I'm gonna have to go back to the, the drawing board on this one really quick. More, More rim. rim. I need to do a better rim job on this one, you guys, okay? <laughs> 
Oh shit, my rim just broke. Okay, you guys, I'm really just kind of freestyling this little portion right now. Ugh. Mm. Let's try this again. This is the beauty blender of pottery. That's what I call it. Fucking shit. <laughs> Broken half, that's good, good, good. We're breaking, we're breaking. This is what we are currently working with. Um, and I'm gonna try to like morph these together and make a nice rim. Let's do a nice little beat. So far so, so good, it's looking really stunning. Blending and blending the bottom. It's looking really good so far. Really rustic vibe on this, this sucker right here. Mmm, mm-hmm, okay. I see what I've done here. <laughs> so I actually made like, like a saucer instead. I think the rim was supposed to be bigger. It was supposed to look like this shape and unfortunately it's more like that. I might just go around. See that one more time because right now that's the bowl. Oh jeez, we have a collapse. We have a collapse on our hands. This side was not getting enough water. Honestly, I might be slightly making this work. I think this is as good as it's gonna get. It just kind of looks like a poop splatter. No, it looks like a cup for poop. So here we have the trinket dish. And now I just have to let it dry for a couple days and then I'm gonna finish it. So we'll see you in a couple days. Say goodbye to this beautiful trinket dish. My mom's gonna be like mad at me for giving this her. Should I put her initials in it? Aww. There it is. There we have it. It's 7 a.m. This is the only time I can film and I'm so eager to paint my beautiful bowl. Let's see what our bowl looks like, shall we? Sorry, our trinket dish. Okay, well. There it is. So first step to this is applying the base coat. I was like, I couldn't fall asleep the other night and I was just laying in bed thinking about like what went wrong <laughs> while making this. I know you will all tell me in the comments, but I wanted to do some really some self reflection. And what I came up with was that I made the base too big. Like when I, when it said use a small bowl to like trace out the the circle for the base, the bowl I used was like too big. And then like the rim and everything after that was not big enough. Pam, they can't see what I'm doing if you lay right there. So yeah, maybe I'll do like a part two to this and we could like see how my pottery skills improve over time. All things considered, this could be worse. Brisket is really loving this. He's loving watching his mom be an artist. Base coat is on. Now I have these acrylic glitter colors right at my mom's alley. I'm gonna choose purple. I'm gonna do purple for the outside. I kinda like this like silver. There's silver. I think I'm gonna do silver for the inside. This paint is like, oh, that's dry. The paint is dry. <laughs> like, look. It, it's all dry. <laughs> That's fine. The pink is actual paint, so let's do the pink on the outside. Okay, not only did I make this 
with the skill level of like a five-year-old, but now with this glitter paint, this looks like something one of my preschoolers would have made back in the day. That looks really stunningly beautiful. Now let's do the inside silver. Let's hope this one is not dry. Not dry. Nice. That looks like it's pink. Okay, so it looks like it's pretty much the exact same color. It's just a little lighter. Oh no, that's that's gonna be more silver. That's more silver once you start spreading it out. Although it is kind of mixing with the pink edges. I like this silver. It truly, genuinely looks like a preschooler has done this. Okay, I like want to add more to it, but at the same time, I feel like adding more would just kind of fuck with it. So I think I'm going to leave it and let it dry. Let it dry just like the purple did. <laughs> if it looks anything like it looks right now, it's gonna look really good. So I'm excited. I feel bad that I'm giving this one. I tried. Real, I actually did. And I'm gonna keep trying. This is not gonna be the, the last pottery video you see from me. Mark my words. Okay. Hey, so it's later in the day. I know my dish is done now. So I'm gonna show it to Cody where he can get his first reaction on camera. Okay. <laughs> wow, you went fucking ham with that thing. Is this for your mom? Well, I tried to make it for her, but or for I, a princess. <laughs> what the fuck paint did you even use they, to paint this? They, I chose like the neon, <laughs> like glitter one, because I thought it would be cute, but it really does look like a preschooler made it. Is that to hold your My Little Ponies? <laughs> <laughs> Here is the finished product. I like this, I like how the silver turned out. Nice job. Thank you. That's structurally very sound. Mm -hmm. Nice work. Mm -hmm. This looks like one of, uh, you know, Seth Rogen's company where he makes yeah. ceramics? See, yeah, it looks like it, that. yeah, so there we have it. There's my final product. I am going to attempt this again, because like I told you, I think I figured out what my issues were from the last time. And I'm really interested in kind of keeping this one around and then tracking my progress and seeing how good at pottery I become. If you're interested in taking that journey with me, I'd be happy to have you. Um, and there we have it. Well, I love you guys. Thank you for watching this video. And I'm excited for our pottery journey together. Me and the potheads. That's you guys. <laughs> All right, love you. See you next time. Okay, bye.